Okay, so today uh, we're gonna run through this render right here and we're gonna make the whole thing. Um, this is a, an array, we got some fun with some textures in um, the BSDF, just messing with some glass. Um, it's fairly simple, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this array with the spheres uh, to start off with. So let's input a UV sphere, give it smooth shading, and then we're gonna go over to our modifiers and we're gonna add an array. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it eight eight little circles. Alright. Now I'm just gonna center it here. Next thing I'm gonna add is another array. So let's just copy our whoops, I clicked apply. Um, copy our array, click zero on that and the one below it, click one, and then let's just center that out, and then copy it again. Click zero on the middle one, and we're gonna add one to that one, and then stacking it, just like that. Now we have this big stack of spheres. Uh, I don't like how they're almost touching there, so what I'm gonna do is on all, on our three array modifiers, just right here on each of them where it says one, I'm gonna click it twice. Right here, click it twice, and then right here, so now it's they're nice and spaced out. I like how they look. Um, all right, now we're gonna just bring it up. I'm gonna scale it down, and then let's just see how I rotated it. So there's a side here, and there's a side there. So I'm just gonna bring it to the middle of our plane. Not really a plane, but you know. And there we go. Um, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more kind of like that and we're gonna put it right down here and let's just quickly add a plane alright I don't really like the rotation I'm just gonna mess with it a little bit more okay I think I like that we're gonna go with this alright next thing we're gonna add is this weird glass thing we got going on um, so first we're gonna add a cube and then let's just sort of copy how, what we have going on with this right here. Okay, uh, I got it to where I like it. It's pretty annoying trying to center it up. If there's an easier way to do it, let me know, but you just gotta play around with the rotation settings until it fits. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is go into edit mode on our cube and we're gonna subdivide it. I'm gonna subdivide it 50 times. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do 30. Last time I did this, I think I did it at 30. All right, um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into edit mode, go into our vertex groups, hit new group, and then click assign. And so we're gonna have these vertices assigned to this group. And then we're gonna add a vertex weight edit and then we're just gonna click a couple buttons. Uh, I have a tutorial on this. It's called the Dissolving Box Tutorial. I'll link it in the description, um, but it's all about this one little procedure, but we're just gonna run through it. It's pretty simple. Add our group, click Group Add, Group Remove, where it says Linear, go to Custom Curve, and we're just gonna flip our curve right here. And then right down here, click New Texture, and then click this little button right here, and we're gonna pick, uh, we're gonna pick Clouds, and then under uh, your colors, bring up just bring up your contrast for now. That usually ends up working for this. And then right here in your modifiers, add a mask. And then vertex group, click your group. And we've cut through it. Um, one thing I like to do is to add a subdivision surface here on the top. So we're just going to move it up just like that. Kind of smooths out, gives us a little more organic look. And then under vertex weight edit, Let's go back to our texture and play around with it. Just move around the texture until it does something you like, and then and then uh, just stick with it. Okay, it took me a while to find a good um, a good texture. Under distorted noise, you have these two. You can just sort of play with them a little bit until you find something you like. Um, but it's kind of an annoying process to find that, but you know, you can be pretty creative with it. 
Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my camera. I'm going to give it 2,000 by 2,000. By 2,000. And we're going to go about right here. Control AF. No, I mean, uh, Control ALT 0. All right, in my camera settings, I'm just going to give it a focal length of 100. And then scale it out. I kind of way I kind of like the way the hundred focal length looks. And then just center it. Actually, I'm gonna give it eighty. Bring it out. And bring it in right about there. Okay. So on here, we're just gonna add a solidify. Kind of pretty self-explanatory what that does and we'll just bring it in like right about there and then next thing we're gonna do is our shading so we're gonna shade our, our spheres here I'm gonna give it a gold shader um, so split your screens in half I like to use the UV editing preset depending on what's in 2.8 you know just use the equivalent of that I know there's a pretty good shading preset um, that it uses right now and we're gonna go to the note editor and we're going to click a new material and give it a principled BSDF. Whoops. Shift A. And we're going to plug it right in. Okay, so um, what we have going on is some displacement and some interesting stuff going on with the roughness. So it's kind of rough here and it's really glossy here. So the way we're going to do that is first we're going to add our displacement. We're going to go over to the material view, shift A, and noise, and just plug it into the displacement. Under color, just give it a light yellow for now and make it metallic. And then let's just see, add some distortion, that's too much, right about there, and then I'm going to bring my scale down. A little bit all right so now we're gonna copy this noise texture and we're gonna add a color ramp roughness plug it right into your roughness there and if we shift Z and just view it real quick you can see what's going on hold on we need a light uh, we'll give it a sunlight all right you'll be able to see what's going on so it's hard to tell with all the noise but just playing around with this color ramp we can bring in these two colors and make that effect more extreme and then just play around with it and just check the view and you could see parts of it is very glossy and parts of it's pretty rough and that gives it that nice um, that nice gold shader look alright that's as far as we're gonna go with here and then all we have to do is add a principal BSDF on the glass and just turn up the transmission surface, turn up the transmission, and the roughness. And that's it for that for now. I'm going to bring our plane down some more. Alright, now we just have to add a wall, duplicate it, just rotate it, bring it back, and just scale it up a bunch. Alright, All right. now we're going to do the lighting. So it's a pretty simple lighting setup. Just going to add three area lamps. We're going to put one right above it, scale it up a bunch, right about there. We want it right above our camera, so maybe right about there. And then we're going to add another lamp. We're going to bring it up and then just bring it over to this side. We're going to point it and then scale it up. And then one more on the other side 
like that. And then we're going to give them all a strength of around 1,000 or 2,000. I'm going to give it 2,000 because these are pretty big lamps, so it's going to be soft shadows, so you have to bring up the brightness quite a bit. And then if we check how that looks. And that's basically it. We're just going to add principled shaders on all the planes here and then just keep your lighting textures I mean your lighting just where it's at um, just play around the brightness be creative and then with your rendering you know bring it all the way to 100 I give it about 300 samples in the sampling and that should give it out and then of course add your denoising and that's basically it um, I hope you had fun I hope you learned something this is a pretty fun render I had fun making it and yeah thanks for watching